last time we previewed the formats themselves, but this time we're going to look into tools. Disclaimer before we proceed, I will not mention every tool ever made, because if I did, this video would be several hours long. Instead, I'll be focusing on the tools we could reasonably use today. Before we jump into the details, I would like to give a quick shout out to Salako, a game running on GZ Doom. Yes, you heard that correctly. Set in the year 2255, this fear-inspired shooter has you unearthing a mystery behind the invasion of a space colony. The game is packed with engaging action, immersive world building, and of course, beautiful voxels. Make sure to check out the demo during the upcoming Steam Next Fest on June 13th. For any additional detail, the link to the game is in the description. And now, we return to tools. First on the list are map editors. We're starting with the old reliable NetRadian Custom. Okay, it's not that old, but as the name suggests, it's part of the Radian family of editors, which actually began as an official editor used by id Software, Q3 Radiant. By nature of being a part of the Radiant family, it follows some of the old traditions, but also mixes in some of the modern behaviors. The main focus is on Quake, Quake 3, and Quake Live, but that extended games list on the screen isn't a lie, and the new games can also be added via a custom collection of config files known as game packs. Next one you have a really easy one, Trench Broom. It's a fairly modern editor, built from the ground up. It's been gaining a lot of popularity lately, and it's easy to see why. It's simple to set up and start using, but still offers a satisfying amount of tools. Its supported games list isn't as extensive as Next Radiant Customs, however writing your own configuration file for new games is extremely easy. If you're using something like Kodo, you're most likely generating them anyways. Currently there's one drawback, which affects Dream Realms, and that is that you cannot make patches. Trench Broom supports showing patches, but you cannot create them for now. Next up on the list is kind of a loner, Jack. I've included Jack because it seems to be popular with the Gold Source modding community. Just Another Creation Kit is an editor that takes a lot of inspiration from Valve's Hammer and Q3 Radiant, but also trying to have its own identity. However, I think Jack is abandoned? I'm not exactly sure because there's a free and a paid version of the editor, and while all of my experience is with the free editor, according to the website, the version number for the paid editor hasn't changed for a while. If you have any updates on this, please leave a comment. Our maps of course still have to be compiled in order to be played. First up for Quake 1 formats we have Eric W Tools. They're currently the most popular map compilation tools for Quake 1 and Hexen 2. Even a quick glance at the tools website shows how stunning the improvements can look. But even if you're someone like me who tend not to use the additional lighting effects, your map can still benefit from the improved BSP calculations, resulting in better performance during gameplay. There's some work underway to support Quake 2 BSPs, and while results are being produced, it's still a work in progress. But until that's done, we can use Cubism's Q2 Tools 220. By the nature of Quake 2 being less popular, there's not a lot of competition in the Quake 2 BSP space, and in my opinion, this is the only Quake 2 BSP map compiler worth currently using. I've tried some other map compilers, but they either had some weird bugs or just straight up didn't work. And while I haven't seen much stunning work done for Quake 2, Kingpin is getting some neat content. Max Jerry Rafa is making a really interesting map called Duty Free. It's a map for an upcoming Kingpin mod called Orbital Sanctum. For more details on that, there's gonna be a link to Jerry's video in the description. Somewhat ironically, it also goes against my opinion because Duty Free is not compiled with Q2 tools, just the stock kingpin tools. Back to map compilers, we have Q3 Map 2. So it seems there are several tools called Q3 Map 2. I'm specifically talking about the one bundled with NetRadian Custom. I must admit, aside from the other Q3 Map 2, this is the only Q3 BSP compiler that I tried because I never had to look further. NetRadian Custom's version even handled other Q3 BSP based formats like FBSP, so this is what Dream Realms uses as its main compiler. And with this second part, this concludes the mapping info portion of the devlog series. Next time we'll be diving into 3D models. Hopefully you enjoyed this short video, and if you didn't see my previous video, you might want to catch up on that first because this one doesn't make a lot of sense without it.